is Michaela Smith Campbell, the fashion designer and the founder of the fashion design brand, Max Smith. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be doing another haul, a thrift haul specifically. And I love thrift haul. You guys know how much I love to thrift. Um, I always go to thrift stores before I go into any other stores. I always recommend you guys check out your thrift stores first always um, because say for example if you're shopping for a white t-shirt you'll find an abundance of white t-shirts at thrift stores before going to the you know your retail store or shopping online and not only that um, you'll find an abundance of them at an affordable cost and at a sustainable level sometimes I get it there are certain things that you're looking for maybe like a rib net dress or sweater vest that you might not find at a thrift store so you go to a retail store I totally get that I would just highly recommend going to um your thrift stores first or looking online even using thread up for example um, to look on for pieces that you want in your wardrobe um, and for this video I am not sponsored by any brands I am mentioning or any uh, thrift stores such as thread up that I just mentioned I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them whatsoever yeah this weekend I went shopping for a thrift and I don't know I just haven't gone thrifting in such a long time um, I've been quarantining at home for a while because um, I was sick and whatnot so I was quarantining and I've just been inside for so long so when I was you know 100% healthy again I just went out to thrift stores and honestly you guys I feel like I hit the jackpot with this thrift store and yeah I'll show you a lot of the things that I'm going to show you are I feel like it's outerwear I don't know why but I feel like I got I really scored big on the outerwear section so I'm super excited to show you guys um and yeah throughout this video tell me what you guys think about the pieces below and yeah let's get into this video okay you guys so my first so my first category well this isn't really a category because it's just one item but I got this beautiful bag it's like a makeup hygiene bag um, and I honestly you guys I love this this is a brand and it's like a faux leather crocodile skin bag and honestly when I usually do leather it's usually real leather um, especially thrifted but I honestly didn't mind this is brand new you guys if you want makeup bags or travel bags just like this I highly recommend looking at thrift stores first because these they have an abundance of these and this still had the tag on and it still had a little plastic sticky cover over the little pretty handle that's like a rose but yeah it's clean it's brand new there's nothing inside and I love how on the front there's a little pocket this is my color tone anyways and I'm definitely gonna use it as a travel bag when I do travel um, I'm probably gonna put like my hygiene stuff like my soap my um, deodorant toothpaste toothbrush um, in my travel size little um, hygiene stuff in it um, but yeah I love this you guys this is super soft it's clean and I already like cleaned it too um, before this video I cleaned it it's like very like you can just look inside it's like there's nothing no mark scratches nothing inside like whoever bought this probably just never used it so they just gave it up um, and donated it but I love this this is the bottom it's a pretty pretty like powder lavender color um yeah super beautiful in great condition um yeah you guys so I bought this for a dollar 49 only a dollar 49 and I used my coupon um they had so a few weeks ago I donated a bunch of my clothes that I didn't wear or that I just no longer fit into um this past summer yeah my summer clothes and when we went um, my husband and I when we went to the donation drop-off area one of the guys that worked there because when you donate you get 20% off coupons when the guy who worked there he gave us like about 15 of those like he didn't even care like he gave us like literally 15 of those coupons um, from savers that worked there he, uh, he worked at and yeah we just took them all so we still have a bunch of coupons um, so yeah I got 20% off of a dollar 49 for this bag my next category are is like tops and for these tops boom this is my first top I love this top this top was $7.99 but again I got for 20% off this is a beautiful cream ivory color and I needed a lot more and I think in my last thrift video um a couple of weeks ago, my last thrift video, I talked about how I wanted to get more rib knit tops and just tops in general that weren't so bulky for the winter. And 
um, yeah, I just love this because this was really fitting on me. And again, you guys, I talk about it in my other videos. I love like low cut v-neck um, tops because I get to show off my necklaces. And yeah, it just adds more of a feminine touch to it rather than having like a bulky oversized sweater where it just is like a crew neck and covering up, which I, you know, don't get me wrong, I love those. But sometimes I like to be a little bit more feminine with my look. So this was a perfect v-neck top and I just loved how the collar was and just look at how stretchy this is you guys it's super soft too it's plush um and just very comfortable and very fitting on me and i love how this kind of crosses at the breast area and then like the tube it feels like a tube top material but this is the back yeah, it's beautiful. I love how the collar just kind of sits right at my neck in the back and then it just goes down. It's very elegant and it just drapes on my body so well. So yeah, this was a score for me. And then my next top, it was also $7.99. Um, yeah, that top that I just showed you, the cream colored one, it didn't have a company tag on it. Um, so I don't know what company it was from or size, honestly. I just knew it fit me and I wanted it, so I got it. But this one, again, we have a sweater vest. I need to wash this, you guys. Yeah. I haven't washed these yet because I wanted to keep the tag on just to remind myself. And I got these like a Sunday. So I got them Friday, Friday and some yesterday. Yeah, this past weekend. By the time this video goes out, it's gonna be the weekend. It's gonna be like the weekday. But so, um, yeah, this one I really love because it's a little bit looser. It's not as fitted as the previous top, but it's super comfortable. Um, it's super comfortable and it's fitted on the sleeves and it's also that sexy v-neck so if i have accessories and jewelry i want to layer you can obviously see it and i love how it has a little collar not many sweater shirt kind of um tops have a collar so i really love that about this and yeah you guys i just love it 7.99 size medium from ink cotton and nylon very stretchy rib neck and it looks like it once had a bell because it has like little loops on the side. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like little loops on the side. It looks like it once had, I might cut the loops off. It probably once had a little like sash, but I love this, you guys. It's very comfortable. It's fitted, but it's not like tight, you know, so I don't mind it. I love Next up category, we have bottoms. You guys, this next bottom, I've been trying to find a pleated skirt forever that was high-waisted, that fit me perfectly, that matched almost anything I can wear, and I found it. So this is a pleated skirt. I mean, it's wrinkly right now. <laughs> it's wrinkly right now because I gotta get it dry cleaned. Um, it's by Ellen Tracy. Bum, and this was $10.99, size seven slash eight. Yeah, it's a size eight. But yeah, this is an Ellen Tracy pleated skirt. You guys, I put it on. This literally makes my waist look so tiny, this pleated skirt, because it's pleated and just like, oh, it just fits me. It just sucks in my waist. It's high-waisted. And then just the bottom of it, it's about mid-calf length. So I imagine myself wearing like long boots with this underneath and just a t-shirt or in the summertime or springtime, um, because this is 100% wool, which is another bonus. It's 100% wool and beautifully, oh, it's not in line, I thought it was line. But it's 100% wool, and because it's 100% wool, it's gonna keep me really warm throughout the winter, um, next fall, and even this upcoming spring. I love this. I imagine myself wearing this in so many different ways. And to you guys, just for a note, when you're shopping, whether it's thrift um, or not, really look for basic pieces and staple pieces that you'll forever have in your wardrobe. Um, look at pieces that will last you long, that you can get a lot of wearability out of it. And I, when I go shopping, I usually think about like how I can wear this in so many different ways. I love working with basic pieces because you can wear them in so many different ways. Over time, you can get a lot of longevity out of it and wearability out of it. Um, especially if you take care of your clothes um, instead of like putting this in the wash since it's wool like really check your machine wash content and how to wash your clothes um, because sometimes I've had clothes ooh, so because sometimes I've had beautiful like slip silk slip dresses or wool trousers that I accidentally washed and like dried in my regular machine and it just shrunk or it just got ripped up. So really just like make sure you're looking at like the contents of the material and obviously natural materials like wool is gonna last a lot longer than let's just say like a polyester, a polyester skirt, you know, or an acrylic skirt, but 
you know, check your, just check your items like that and really read up on how to take care of like, you know, clothing just so you can keep it and get so much wearability out of it over the long run. So somebody who expired me for the pleated skirt look was another creator, content creator by the name Notorious Kia. And I love her so much. I follow her on Instagram and I've been looking at her YouTube channel for about like four years now. I've been looking at her YouTube channel for about four years now and she her style is impeccable like she is forever like she just reads up on so much style things like she's very streetwear she's from new york and i love her she is you know just been creating content for like so many years now with style and fashion and um i love her streetwear fun streetwear looks that she comes up with because it could be very preppy it could be very girly but it's always just so cool and she's very big on sneakers i'm not a huge sneaker person but she just makes them look so cool and just looking at her style like i want to wear sneakers too i'm not a huge sneaker fan um like she is but I just love she really inspired me for that skirt I thought of her when I, I was shopping thrift for that skirt um you know I just imagine wearing like sweater vest with the skirt I imagine like wearing tall leather boots with that I can just do so many things out of that one skirt so I'm really excited to start styling it for you guys um and like even post it on my Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram my personal is at Mackie since 97 and my brand's Instagram is at original Mac Smith by the way okay so my next bottom Ooh, I was so excited I've been looking online for these and these are leather pants these are genuine leather pants in my color by the way cream these were $14.99 a size large and they're actually a size 12, but I guess it's large. But $14.99, 20% off with my um, coupon that I used. You guys, look at this. I mean, obviously, I don't think you guys can see it, but like, here's the leg. Real leather, and you can see it says real. And look at it, it's lined. I love how it's lined with like a gold champagne lining, like a satin lining. It's so soft. I tried these on when I got them. Um, I brought them home with me. They fit me perfectly, you guys. And the waist to hip ratio is just so perfect with these because they're darted in the front. However, in the back, they're also darted at the butt area, but it also has an elastic waistband. So if I wanna wear these high-waisted, my waist just looks so cinched in. But yeah, you guys, these fit me so perfectly. They don't have, um, they don't have pockets, but I'm okay with that because I've been looking for leather pants like this forever and a lot of you know a lot of thrift stores that I have gone to haven't sold real leather pants for me I like investing in for me I like investing in real leather pieces because again you get so much wearability um, out of them and you know the longevity of them just lasts so much more longer than faux leather and especially with pants when you're sitting down and you know you're sitting down and you're constantly rubbing up on, you know, different things that you sit on or walk on or whatever it may be. It like will creak or crack, you know, with fake leather, but with real leather, this will just last me for so long. And um, I'm really proud of these. This is like a proud thrift moment for me. And yeah, I feel like in a real store, they would cost me so much more than $14.99 or 20% off of $14.99. So I was really happy with these. The brand, Jerry Lewis. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, I love this. And this zips on the side of the zip with an invisible zipper. But yeah, those these have been proud thrift moments for me, you guys. So I've been really happy over this past week. So the next category that we're going into is outerwear. And you guys know from my last previous video, um, my thrift haul, that I'm a huge outerwear. I've been a huge fan of outerwear this past season. Um, you know, it started with me just looking for outerwear just because, you know, the snow's coming. I live in a colder climate. Um, I live in a co colder climate, so I really wanted to get more into thicker jackets that were stylish as well. So when I went into the thrift stores this weekend, I saw a lot of outerwear. And this first piece, I know I'm gonna get hate on because it's 100% real fur. It is thrifted fur. And again, I always say this on my other videos, I believe in longevity, wearability out of it. Um, however, mainly with leather, um, with fur, I'm not too keen on whether it's fake or not because there are so many furs that you can get, whether it's faux, 
faux fur um, that looks almost identical and feel identical and the wearability is identical to actually real fur and it's less to upkeep than real fur um, over time so that's why I'm okay with getting fake fur jacket shopping on a sustainable leather Shopping at a sustainable level. Always check out thrift stores because that's when you can find the real leathers, real furs, um, like silks, wools, all of that. So this, I believe to be real raccoon. And this was giving me like, oh, just, okay, this is really heavy, but this is mid-calf length. And then you can see, because I was looking up, and I'm still learning about real furs, um, so I was looking up with raccoon, you'll know if it's real raccoon because it does have like a silvery brown um, color and hue to the actual fur. And not only that, the length of the fur is long, pretty long, and it just is so soft, you guys. And then not only that, with raccoons, I mean, I could be wrong. If you guys are a fur expert, please tell me in the comments below. If you guys are a fur expert and know your furs, I was looking up and I did so many videos and looking up at like so many experts talking about the difference between different types of furs. And not only that, um, they also, the experts were saying that I read up upon, we're saying that distinct um, raccoon fur based on like the black or dark gray linings it has. And this is the back and you can see like the linings indicating that. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was beautiful, you guys. Just like the hues of browns. I might have to sell this because I saw this on the rack first of all. Okay, you guys, this was $140. <laughs> I know. So this was $140 from Savers. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, you know, get a lot of wear out of it. So yeah, so I, I know it's crazy a lot of money. Like, spending, like no one says, oh yeah, $140 at the thrift store. You know, don't come for me. Honestly, I just saw this and got so excited. I loved it. I didn't even try it on, you guys, in the thrift store. I was like, oh, this is a size like large. It should fit me. I come home and then the sleeves are so short. The sleeves are like up to here for me, but like everywhere else is like perfectly fine. Everything's like, you know, fits my body perfectly except for the sleeve length. The sleeve length is like 22 inches and I didn't try it on the store. So more of a store, you guys, try on stuff. Even if it's out of wear that you're like, okay, this should fit me, still try it on. I know a lot of thrift stores aren't allowing people to try on stuff in the fitting room. They're closing their fitting room still. But I mean, if it's out of wear, like still check it out. For me, if I'm shopping for shirts, sometimes I like stick my arm through like the little sleeve because the sleeves can sometimes be too tight. So I'll time them to a sleeve test. But for out of wear, for example, um, you know, always try on because you don't want to be in this predicament. I might have to sell it. I mean, I don't know. I'm still debating on it. But um, I had my mom try it on and she fit it so perfectly, you guys, because she's like tiny, my mom. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this below. I love this piece. It's super heavy. It's beautiful. It has inseam pockets on it. And then just like, I love the lapel. It's just so big. The color, it's beautifully lined. Um, this is by Fantasia Collection. I never heard. It could be a vintage brand, um, but I think it's super beautiful. My next jacket is a trench coat, bum, and I gotta get all this stuff dry clean, you guys. I mean, mind you, I did just shop some of this stuff yesterday and the day before. Um, by the time this video comes out, it's gonna be during the week. But yeah, it's the weekend. I shopped this stuff for the weekend, so I still have yet. I was just so excited. I literally rushed home and wanted to do this video with you guys as soon as possible before I sent it to the dry cleaners. This jacket was $14.99. Um, it has no tag on it, the jacket. Yeah, it doesn't have any tags on it. Um, I guess it's a no-name brand. There's no tags, like, never attached to it. But I think it's super beautiful. I've been wanting to get into olive greens and even burgundies. I haven't found my burgundy jacket, my perfect burgundy jacket yet. But, I mean, I still have hopes. Um, so this is a beautiful trench coat. It has a little sash to tie it with. Um, it has these welt side pockets beautifully. This was beautifully lined, of course. And then this is what the back looks like. I love the little, I love how the yoke is like left out. And then the sleeves also have a little like tie on them if you guys can see. But I love this, this fits me beautifully. It just drapes so effortlessly on me. Um, this is a size medium. So these next few things, they're all leather. And I was super excited to wear this. And I literally just finished filming a 
trend for the 2021 year fashion trends that were popular and one of my first fashion trends were leather blazers and leather tops or outerwear in general because they're classic staple pieces which you can find an abundance of them at thrift stores so when I went to Savers this weekend I saw I got so lucky in this field um, the first leather jacket is this one and it's $29.99 yes it is a little bit pricey for the thrift store but I mean compared to buying it online at a real actual store um, I thought I was getting a deal. I got 20% off of this using my coupon, of course, but this is real genuine leather. Um, the lining is nylon, and you know, it feels kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it does have a weird feeling to it, but it is leather. It does smell good. I love the smell of leather, too. <laughs> I love the smell of leather. Um, this is in perfect condition. I just love these buttons, and I also love these little pockets. The pockets are extremely deep, so if I had my phone, I could just put my phone in here. I have an iPhone, um, and those are big obviously and there's just plenty of space um, I love how it's lined um, this is by the brand Savannah I don't know if it's a vintage brand or not but I honestly love it I love all the stitching detailing like the back yoke um, it's just beautiful stitching detailing in it and I really love this um, the arms are oversized and this is just like a cool chill oversized look I love this I'm really happy that I did get this yeah so that's leather jacket number one and I honestly don't have many leather jackets I only have two I have a leather blazer I also have a leather motorcycle jacket that's a lot fitted that I had for the past two years um but yeah those are the only leather jackets I have so I'm really happy with this haul I've collected so many more other leather jackets so my next leather jacket is a really supple it's a supple leather trench jacket like look at this I know there's like about two buttons missing well this one's going loose but I don't know I might get other buttons there's one two three there's five buttons total um so I might get other buttons I have like a bag full of different buttons so I might find really cool buttons maybe like silver or a brass tone buttons um, and then just give it to like an alteration specialist to sew in um, since these are falling loose anyways I mean I do have black plastic buttons too I have an abundance of them um, so I might do that too I don't know I like having fun with it so I was okay that the fact that this had a couple making back a couple of missing buttons um, and that's probably why the price was only $12.99 I got 20% off of this obviously but um yeah this is the most softest leather ever it's super supple it's super I just love feeling it I just feel like it's so moisturized this leather it's beautifully lined and it also does have pockets inseam pockets too as well and then this is what the back looks like beautiful stitching detailing and I love when a jacket has thick little belt loops because I feel like belt loops over time sometimes when you're wearing so much like the especially outerwear pieces so much with belt loops sometimes the belt loops can be thin and kind of come undone so this is a good sturdy belt loop and yeah this is like the little sash it came with and I love how I can have the option of tying it and making it really tight around my waist but I don't know knowing me I might just have it loose and this is what the little buttons look like on the hem of the sleeve but yeah, I think this is such a great find, you guys. 100% real leather, and this is from Real Clothes brand. Again, I don't know if that's a vintage brand or not. Um, it says it's size 14, but me, on average, I'm like a size 8. Um, and this doesn't feel size 14-ish to me, because it feels a little bit more fitted. Um, I don't know if this is like a vintage sizing, because vintage sizing, what was a size 8 versus back then versus, you know, size 8 now. Size 8s were tiny back then um but now size eights are a little bit bigger so vintage styling or vintage sizes are a lot different than they are now it says size 14 but it doesn't feel like a size 14 but that's okay it fits me beautifully i love this i'm really happy with this and last but not least i have a gorgeous brown leather jacket and this jacket it's so rare for me to find brown leather jackets you guys because a lot of the thrift stores I've gone to, they've always had black leather jackets or like a really worn out black that it almost looked gray and it could pass as gray, but this one was browned. And before, 
before it even came out on the rack I saw this and there was a lady that had like a styling rack who was bringing clothes from the back of the store out and she had this on the rack and I kept eyeballing it when I was trying on some of the other outerwear leather jackets and I spotted her behind me in the mirror and then I just saw this and I just quickly grabbed before she like took it away from the rack and I'm glad I did because when I tried this on this fit me so well um, I love this worn out detail. It's like scratched. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like really scratched and worn down looking. And I feel like with this brown, it's perfect because it doesn't look super, it doesn't look super perfect or crisp. You know, it looks like really worn in and I like that look to be honest, especially with like leather. I love the worn in look. I love it. Leather's also very supple and soft. I think the buttons are really great too. They're big buttons, really simplistic. Um, this one doesn't have a sash, but that's okay. I'm just wearing it as a regular oversized jacket. The waist is kind of cinched in. You can see, you can kind of see how this has like a printed seam and like a front yoke. And it also has a back yoke, so it's a little bit more fitted. Um, and then the waistband is kind of smaller and then like the ends of it by the bottom kind of flare out to give me like a more cinched and structured. Guys, it has side welt pockets. Beautiful, by the way. And they're very deep, the pockets as well, which I really love. Um, what else? This is a size extra large and this is by the brand Ricano. Ricana, I never heard of it. It could be a vintage brand. Um, but yeah, this is what I paid for it with 20% off, $12.99 it was 20% off on top of it. So all in all, I was very happy with this. I feel very satisfied. I definitely gotta go to the dry cleaners and get this all dry clean so I can wear it and style it for you guys. Um, obviously you can't wash leather in a regular washer machine and dryer machine. Where I live, we haven't been getting a lot of snow. It feels like it's been like spring days out here in December, so um, I think I can get away with a lot of these leather jackets just by themselves with like a scarf So that's what I'll be doing pretty soon as soon as I get these dry clean Tell me what you guys think of this haul below down in the comments Thank you guys so much for watching if you guys haven't already Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification just so that you know when I'm dropping videos um, In the future for fashion and all things design um, content related. Thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you in my next video Bye Thank you.